Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video series, we're gonna make this animation. In the first video, we drew the concept art. Uh, we drew it in grease pencil in Blender. In the second video, we modeled the building, the dojo, we modeled everything. Uh, in the third video, we modeled the light fixtures. This video is only available in Patreon. We modeled the light fixtures of the building. But again, this video is only available in our Patreon page. Uh, you can support the channel, guys, by going to our Patreon page and subscribing. And a big thanks to our very first bronze supporter on Patreon, Samo F. Thank you. We appreciate all the support from you guys. In the fourth video, we modeled the character. This character will be available on our Patreon page. So if you want a copy of this blend file for the character, go to our Patreon page and you can download it. And guys, don't forget to check out our website. Go visit our website, learntoanimate.com. Make sure also to subscribe or join our newsletter so that we can stay in touch. And for this last video on the series, this fifth video, we're going to rig the character. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So I've opened up the character. This is the character that we modeled in the last video. Uh, and by the way, you can um, download this character from the Patreon if you would like to have it. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and create the rig. Here we go. Um, let's create the rig. Uh, it's a little small we're going to scale it uh, to about the shoulder um, height uh, where the shoulders line up let me go into the side view and i'm going to delete all the face bones right here let me select them Let's go ahead and get rid of those face bones. Don't forget the one inside the head bone and the ear bones also. We're not going to use those. Now let's start adjusting the bones to our model. Let's put the shoulder where it goes. I'm going to select the entire lower arm and, and place the elbow where it goes. Select the hand and place the wrist where it goes. Remember, this is all in the front view. Oh, we need to get rid of those breast bones also. A little lower over here. I'm going to select these two joints or bones and put them uh, in the hip area. Align them in the hip area where they should rotate from. Put the knee where it goes. And then grab this foot and then just move it sideways to the foot. Now I want to grab this ankle and move it up where the ankle is rotating from. Put this foot bone here and the toe up at the front. Make sure that this heel bone is where the heel touches the floor. I'm going to move the knee forward a little bit. Remember, all of you are using IK, so we need to have that pre-bend. I'm going to push this joint all the way up to the top of the head. Go to the front view here. Move this breastbone down. Uh, and this is the neck bone. I'm going to put it where the neck is. Right about there. This goes at the base of the head. And right about there. It's looking good. Um, on the top view, though, I'm going to grab the shoulder and move it forward a little bit. Uh, of course, move the hand forward way bit and then rotate it hold on let's rotate it and then move it back move the elbow but not completely straight remember that there has to be a pre-bend in that elbow and I think now we need to work on the hand see all those uh, fingers are not aligning with our hand so the first thing I want to do is move each finger into position to get that knuckle where it's supposed to be, that first knuckle. 
just want it there it is and the thumb I'm just gonna move it out of the way for now there the index finger rotate it a little and then grab this whole thing and put it where the knuckle is supposed to be and I'm gonna move these uh, further okay guys so just um, wait with me so here I'm doing is adjusting the joint where the joint of the finger should be the tip the joint is there the joint is there the knuckle again all of this I have uh, turned on I have turned on the right there the uh, volume snap to volume so that they are right in the center of the of the geometry and right now what I need to do is make sure that those joints have a pre-bend it's very very important that these joints have a pre-bend they're bending a little even though the geometry is completely straight the bones should be bending a little bit see this is completely off and it's going to act way different when it's rigged so we need that we need that little curvature that you see here so that the ik and the joint knows how to bend in what direction to bend so i'm just going in and adjusting these bones accordingly just to have that little bend in them so i select them hide there we go just check to see if they're not rotated all weird uh, hide all of them and then select them and then just bend them so that we have that little curvature just making sure that they're aligned with the geometry also right at the center of those three loop cuts And I think what I want to do is uh, set some loop cups, loop, set some loop cups here, uh, so that the geometry has a place to bend. Everything's looking fine. I think I need to do the thumb next. I'm just gonna put this one right about there, this one here, and this one here maybe here and remember this this one also has to have that pre-bend so there we go I think we'll want to add a little bit more geometry to these joints. Um, I'm going to set a loop cut here. Just to give the geometry um, a nice bending. So in the side view, I think everything's looking good. Just looking to see what else I need to adjust. And the next step is to select the, uh, uh, the rig and create the rig. Go ahead and generate the rig. Uh, click on the button, generate the rig. This is a rig. I'm gonna hide the meta rig. And then work with this one. I'm gonna select everything, select the rig last and then go ahead and parent um, automatic weights with automatic weights and there it is it's been parented uh, I don't want to see those relationship lines so I'm just going to turn those off those are a little distracting and now if I go to pose mode I think I can uh, maybe see if the fingers work that's kind of the main there we go not a big deal and then just bend it over good there they they have some adjusting to do so not a big deal we can adjust them 
and then that one there we go yep it's pretty good looks like a fist uh, we're good uh, let me see if the head is working correctly oops uh, so the the hair did not join did not parent the the rig because they are curves still so i'm going to take a minute to convert all of these curves to meshes and so i, I just need to convert all of these convert to mesh all these clumps of hair convert them to mesh His last ones convert them to mesh bring everything back here we go and now go to pose mode select it and it's working here you go guys we're done uh, rigging the character everything's working fine and we're ready to animate this character and that's it guys don't forget that this character will be available for download on our patreon page go down there support the channel download this character and also visit us at learn animate.com register for the newsletter get uh, registered for our email um, list like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thank you guys